Senior Parliamentary Secretary for Social and Family Development, Eric Chua, says that the plight of vulnerable people should not be politicised. MSF was asked about a correction order that it issued to non-constituency MP Leung Man Wai. Uh, he had made false claims online that a couple with medical conditions in the West Coast wasn't receiving financial help. Sherlin Xia with more. In setting the record street last month, the Social and Family Development Ministry reviewed how much the couple had in their Medisafe and CPF retirement accounts, prompting the Workers' Party's Gerald Giam to ask if such disclosure was necessary. Does the SPS agree that the, this response from the government in this case will instill some fear in residents against sharing their worries with people who are genuinely trying to assist them. So I think in the whole process, we have been very mindful uh, to make sure that anonymity of the couple is assured. Fellow ruling party MP Melvin Yong then asked how the Progress Singapore Party's Leong Man Wai came to know about the couple. I'm just wondering whether are there any leak, any information leak from any agencies that were that have been dealing with the couple? The short answer is there was no breach. But this is what we know of Mr. Leong, Wan Mai, Leong Man Wai's involvement. Following the post by Mr. Leong on the 12th of February, our volunteers spoke with the couple to find out what had happened because we know the couple and that we had been helping them consistently. The couple told our volunteers that they were surprised to find Mr. Leong at the door on the 12th of February because they had neither approached the PSP nor Mr. Leong about their situation. Instead, they had said that they had actually written to Mr. Pritam Singh four years ago in 2020. Then there was no response from the WP or nor Mr. Pritam Singh. Mr. Chua says the couple only received a call from Mr. Singh this year. The Workers' Party chief said someone would visit them. Interesting that this happened a few days just before the delivery of the budget statement on the 16th of February. Perhaps to try to make people think that the government does not help those who need help. Mr Singh rose to clarify that he had picked up the letter while cleaning up his office and got in touch with the resident. He suggested they seek help at a social service office or SSO. I was just checking in on them to see, look, are things better now? Um, the resident gave some feedback about still being in difficulty. I asked for the address, since the address was not on the letter. I realised that it was in an area where Mr Leong and his party are, are, are active. So I said, look, um, have you seen your SSO? And, uh, or at least gone to the SSO? Uh, the couple said, uh, no, because we can't. I am blind. And the wife said, uh, and, he, and the gentleman said that his wife uh, was immobile. For that reason, then I got in touch with Mr. Long. I said, look, if your team is visiting, just you may want to find out and follow up. Mr. Singh added he had not known how Mr. Leong was going to follow up, nor is it in the Workers' Party's interest to go online and point fingers at government agencies. For the record, uh, maybe uh, SPS knows this, I received similar feedback from my own residents about trouble that some other people may be facing in a different constituency, and he would have had. Uh, knowledge of an email then I sent to SSO uh, telling them uh, centrally uh, to MSF I beg your pardon telling them look uh, I've got this information uh, can you please follow up with uh, uh, this resident who does not stay in any constituency which the WP are involved in. We are definitely not saying that you know um, WP and Mr Singh is going out there on social media platforms to point fingers at the government but I just want to round back to a point about not using the vulnerable ones in our community as Trojan horses, as pawns or as chess pieces. And for us to add further stress to their situation by subjecting them to such situations, it is neither good faith nor does it do any good for the actual situations.